Bluetooth speakers are often a predictable lot, where functionality and portability complement how well they sound. But different speakers are designed for different situations. When it comes to the crowd-pleasing type, JBL is all over it. Its flip line fits the description to a T, and the company continues to bring out new models on an almost annual basis. For that reason, don't expect a surprise from the JBL Flip 6. If you know what the flip speaker lineup is all about, you know you will get ample bass and some loudness to boot. Both are obvious once you start the music, so what are the other benefits coming from the few extras JBL threw in? So, welcome to our new product review episode. If you are new in our channel then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of our new videos. There's not much to unbox with the Flip 6. JBL could look to slim down its packaging, or at least print an image of the speaker's true dimensions on the side, so as not to give the impression it's bigger than it actually is. Other than the speaker itself, you'll find a USB-C charging cable and quick start guide, you get the same cylindrical design and, for the most part, similar dimensions a its predecessors. JBL shaved just a little off the height, width, and depth to make it a tad smaller albeit with effectively the same weight. Not that it's heavy at 1.21 pounds, it actually feels just as portable, letting you take it with you wherever you go. That includes around water thanks to an official water and dust resistance rating. Unlike previous flip versions, JBL got an IP67 rating for this one, improving upon the Flip 5's IPX7 rating. It's perfect if you want to sing along in the shower listen to a podcast in a relaxing bath, or make a splash around the pool. Let's not forget the beach, either, as the Flip 6 holds up just fine in salt water and sand, making it a good option for any number of outdoor activities. The durability extends to the rubberized bumpers surrounding the passive radiators on each end. JBL carried that same design principle over here, and the bumpers continue to play a big role in protecting the other components. Much of the rest of the Flip 6 represents an aesthetic change on the outside, like the bigger JBL logo on the front and more textured fabric on the body. A rubber sliver at the bottom keeps the speaker from rolling, while also tilting some of the audio upward for a more spacious sound profile. JBL also addressed the lack of a lanyard in previous versions by integrating one in the Flip 6. By integrated, I mean that it's already tied up for you, and in case you ever lose it, you could realistically replace it with another one. Wisely, JBL didn't change the control layout, using the same raised buttons that, while not backlit, are easy to feel and be accurate when you want to play, pause music or control volume. Power, Bluetooth, battery level indicator, and USB-C charging port also return in the rear. It was easy to pair the Flip 6 via Bluetooth out of the box as it automatically enters pairing mode. It's just as easy to put it in pairing mode again later by holding down the speaker's Bluetooth button until it flashes. It connects to one device at a time and JBL didn't equip it with a microphone, so the Flip 6 has no speakerphone functionality. This thing is about playing audio, not making phone calls, which is a glaring omission at this stage of the game in the industry. One thing JBL did change with the Flip 6 is letting it access the JBL Portable app for iOS or Android. You can use it to update the firmware and adjust the modest number of settings. The big standout to me was the egg, something previous Flip speakers didn't have. It's hardly intricate, with basic sliders for bass, mids, and treble, but it does mark a shift toward giving the Flip 6 a measure of audio control. Party Boost is back again though not without some guardrails. I could use the party mode to wirelessly connect it with other compatible JBL speakers to simultaneously play the same audio. You can also create a stereo pair if you own or a friend own another Flip 6. I tried to pull it off with a Flip 5 and got nowhere. It's hardly a surprise that bass stands out in the overall sound signature. JBL dials it up with each successive iteration. In this case, it's less about ramping up the bass by default because you can adjust it through the portable AFSEC. What's interesting is that the mids and highs make a bigger impact in the sound signature. We're not talking something audiophiles will love, 
but it's hard not to like the results, such as they are. The flip six gets loud, again, par for the course for a speaker like this. It's the resonance at louder volumes that impressed me. Just when I expected distortion to set in and start crackling to highs or lows, it maintained a stable sound that I grew to like even more over time. Part of that has a lot to do with context, meaning I often used the speaker as I moved around my place. Whether I was taking a shower, cooking a meal, or listening to tunes while working, it became a convenient staple in my day-to-day -day routine. Whether it was various genres of music, or long podcast episodes, I appreciated the Flip 6 for what it could deliver. If you are a fan of bass-heavy genres, I don't think you'll be disappointed in the output here. It's deep and rumbling, with just enough detail in the mids and highs for decent balance. Pretty much any playlist of top 40 and party hits will go over well with a small crowd when this thing pumps them out. JBL claims the Flip 6 can last up to 12 hours per charge, but I never reached that at any time. It depends on how loud you go, but I was in the range of about 8 to 10 hours, which isn't bad. That's plenty of time for a trip to the park or beach, or hanging out at the pool. Plug it in with the USB-C cable, and you can keep the music playing that way, especially if you have a portable battery pack to help out 